Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will show you how to configure ingress controller in Kubernetes cluster. Before we proceed, let's take an example. Let's say I have an AKS cluster and I have deployed three services, login service, course service and payment service. Now by default, you can't access these services outside the cluster. Now for that, you need to create a load balancer service. So you have created a one load service for login, one service for course and one service for a payment. Now by default whenever you create a load balancer service it will create a public IP address. So now you have a three public IP address to access these services. Let's take an example whenever you type www.niravgandhi.com slash login this this uh, for that path, you have to configure this IP1 address. For courses, you have to configure IP2 address. And for payment, you have to configure IP3 address. Now, uh, in any Kubernetes uh, cluster, we have deployed multiple services. And we have multiple IP address to access that service. Now, it is not possible to configure each and every IP address in the our host website. So now to overcome this issue, we need to configure an ingress controller. Now ingress controller provide a single IP address can be used to route a traffic to the multiple service in the Kubernetes cluster. Ultimately, an ingress controller is a piece of software that provide a reverse proxy, configurable traffic routing and TLS termination for Kubernetes services. Now in this ingress controller, you can configure a path-based routing and host-based routing. Now, what is path-based routing means? Let's say nirav.gandhi.com slash login. So, this is a URL path slash course slash payment. And host-based means subdomain type. For example, www.login.niravgandhi.com www.course.niravgandhi.com www.payment.niravgandhi.com So, now, let's say if you have multiple services, just you need to define a path in the ingress and based on that path ingress controller will route the traffic here we are using the nginx ingress control it's a popular controller provide a high security scalability and reliability nginx ingress control also ability to provide layer 4 and layer 7 security okay so by default ingress controller we are going to deploy as a pod in the Kubernetes cluster and we need to configure it. So now let's jump to the demo. So to install a ingress controller in our Kubernetes cluster, I am going to use a Helm chart. What is Helm? Helm is a software package manager that simplifies deployment of your application and services to the Kubernetes cluster. Okay. So here I am going to use nginx ingress controller using the helm. So let me first get the repo in my cluster. So helm repo add ingress nginx and this is a path, github path. So let me open the terminal and let me add the repo. Okay, so let's quickly check. Okay, so now repo is here. Now let's quickly update it. Okay, great. Now we are going to install. Now here if you see in my Kubernetes cluster right now, uh, go to the helm. So now in the releases, you can't see this ingress, con uh, ingress controller. Now let's go to this pod. And what we are going to do, we are going to install the ingress. So let me open the terminal. And here, uh, before uh, install the ingress, let me first create the namespace. So, kubectl create namespace ingress, yes. And now let me install the ingress. Minus n ingress. And here, let me give the release name. So, my ingress. So, let's wait. 
So let me open the lens meanwhile. And here you can see the ingress namespace is there. And let's wait. Yeah, now you can see the board is deployed in ingress namespace. And here if you go in the rele releases, you can see the ingress is there. Now let's wait. Yes. Now let me check the terminal. Yes. So now here you can see the ingress nginx ingress uh, nginx control has been installed. Okay. Now if you go to the services, you can see it will provide a IP address, single IP address. Now you now we have to use this IP address to route our multiple services inside our cluster. Now let me first deploy the applications. So here I am using the Microsoft website and here uh, there is a two applications are there. Uh, Hello World 1 and Hello World 2. Okay. So let me first deploy it in my cluster. Let me copy this, open lens and create, wait, cancel. Let me give the namespace ingress. And create. Now here you can see my application is deployed successfully. Let's quickly do the port forward. So this is hello world 1. And here you can see welcome to Azure Kubernetes service. So this is the application 1 hello world 1. And this is hello world 2. Let me do the port forward. It's a AKS ingress demo. So now I have a two application. Okay. Internally, the IP address of this application are different. So if you if you go here, there are multiple, there are two services that are there. This is a one, hello world one and hello world two. Now let me configure the ingress. So for that, I have, I already copy this. So let me first copy this. And now here you can see API version networking.kads.io.v1. Here you can see kind ingress. Okay. Name. My application is hello world ingress. Now here you can see currently in ingress for path. Currently items item list is empty. Okay. Namespace. Let me change the namespace ingress. And here you can see rules. HTTP path hello world dot one path hello world dot two and so if I open my website so let me take this external IP address yes so now if I open the website like this it will by default pointing to hello world one application or service. When I want to type, uh, I, whenever I want to give a path like this, it will point to the hello world two services. So by default, I have configured a path based routing. Okay. So let's create it. Let me check what is the error. Let me remove this first. Yes. So now if you go to the ingress, here you can see. Now currently the IP address is not uh, defined. So let's wait. Okay. So now you can see the IP address is assigned. Now let's quickly access the application using this external IP address. So let me copy this IP address and uh, let me open the website and here you can see by default it will point to the welcome to the 
Azure Kubernetes service. This is a our application is first Hello World application. Okay. And if I want to access the second member website, then what I have to do? I have to give a path Hello World tool. So let me quickly give. So now you can see it's a Hello World two applications. It's now pointing to the hello world too. Okay. Now, currently this website is not secure. In the next video, we are going to uh, configure the SSL certificate. Okay. Now, let me first do one thing. Uh, so, let me first, uh, let me open the portal.azure.com. Let me give this IP address. Yes. Now here you can see it. So here what I'm going to do, uh, here I'm going to configure the DNS name. So instead of IP address, we are going to access the website using DNS. Okay, so go to the configuration and here I'm going to give AKS demo. And save. Okay. Now you can access this website. AKS demo. AKS demo. Slash. Dot. This. So now you can see, welcome to Azure Kubernetes service. And if I want to access a sec service number two, then for that I have to write hello world two. AKS ingress demo. Okay. So this is all about the ingress. Here we have uh, configured ingress using a path based row. You can similarly, you can configure as a host base. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.